everyone, it's Marie here. Uh, today I've come to share a journal I've made for a swap on Junk Journal Junkies uh, Facebook group. It's a, um, a use your stash squash and um, squash. A use your stash swap. I think that's what it's called. Um, and it's obviously, as the name suggests, to use up bits that are in you in your stash. You're not supposed to buy or anything. Just use what you've got. Um, and within the within that, there's three themes. I think one's vintage ladies, flowers and furries, and roses. I think. But I chose the vintage lady theme because I had a lot of things printed, uh, a lot of images already printed with the vintage ladies on, so it's quite a popular one to use. And um, I had some papers already printed that I thought would go well. And then obviously the tea dyed papers and card stock and things like that. So it was the requirement to do a, within a certain size range. And I think this is seven and a half by five, which is in that, within that size range. And it's to be a soft cover. So mine is a, a cardstock cover with uh, this like um, upholstery fabric on. And then on the front, I've layered up um, some cotton fabric, some cheesecloth, no, some muslin fabric, some cheesecloth, and an image I had already printed on some muslin. Uh, this nice lady. Uh, this is an image from tailor-made journals and I just put a little bit of uh, wadding behind that just to give it a little bit of structure. Um, it ties with um, some muslin fabric, just some ripped pieces that I already had and that goes through an eyelet. Um, the requirement was for 20 pieces of paper which is 80 sides so I think I've just got that or maybe just a little bit over. Um, the inside cover is just lined with a card stock and then I've sewn the signatures, two signatures, onto a piece of the fabric to match the front and I've used, I've just glued that into the spine and then it's forming a pocket here. This is a handmade tag that I've had for a while. I've, I've used a few handmade tags that I've got in here that I had. I've made some up and I've got them in a box and I just use them to pop into journals whenever I make something that go, you know, that goes. So I've got some with the ladies on, so that's one I've used for in there. Left the edges fraying on this fabric. Um, the first signature is a cardstock cover and this is an image from um, the old design shop. So I've used images from the old design shop, Mrs. Cog's Craft, Tsunami Rose and Tailor Made Journals. So I won't point everything out, but that's where they, they've come from. So it's a bit of washy on the bottom of the paper there. Uh, on this side I've made a belly band with some cardstock, some fabric and some lace, some stamp in there. There's a journaling card. A piece of paper from Honey Puddle. Just a piece I had left over from one of her kits. And on this side I've just got a little to-do list which just flips up and this paper's been um, ink sprayed. Tea dyed paper. Some paper from, uh, besides that honey puddle I've got paper, paper, digital paper that I already had printed which is from Willow Birch and Clover and this is the Paper Moon. And I think this is the base pages and I've also got the Paper Moon paper in here as well. So that's what's in here. So again, I won't point them out every time. So that's the designer paper, which is printed on parchment, some stamping. And this is a page from a book that I've got called The uh, Ladies, Ladies' Dressing Room, which is a reprint of an Edwardian book. And it's all about um, beauty tips and things like that. Some of them are um, quite old fashioned now. And on there I've got a little bit of fabric ruffle. Uh, put some blue lace on the on this to strengthen the page. Uh, some more parchment paper, which is printed on that side. Tea dyed paper, 
with a cardstock page with a large pocket. And this is another one of the tags I had made. It's just a snippets tag. Just a little bit of um, layer in there underneath that ta uh, pocket. And there's a little snippet there just for decoration. Tea dyed paper, some off cut from some designer paper. Uh, this is vegetable dyed paper which I've backed onto some designer paper to form a pocket. And then there's got some pieces of scrapbook paper. And this is out of that book I was saying about. And this is one of the page of adverts from the from the book that I've got, a ladies dressing room. And this is the centre of the signature. And again, this side is a pocket. Another of my handmade tags. Just have to fit the theme. Some designer paper, tea dyed paper, another uh, piece of cardstock with a, some layering with a tuck spot, another lady's image. And on the back here, I've stuck this image of a lady on a little bit of um, doily trim. Flip out tea dyed page, some designer paper on parchment with some stamping and stenciling and um, stamping, sorry, not stenciling. And this is the book, The Ladies' Dressing Room, and a little fabric ruffle there. And again, it's got the blue lace on. Parchment paper, designer printed on the back, tea dyed paper, and this is that um, ink sprayed paper. Again, from Honey Puddle. On the back of this signature is a piece of cardstock and I've just put some images on there and uh, some snippets. And the second signature, again it's a cardstock front page with some layering. And on this side I've made a pocket and there's a doily and a piece of fabric. And that's a, a pocket there. Some uh, designer paper printed on parchment. It's another little snippet here. Another page from the book. And a piece of fabric and some lace. Again I've reinforced it with some lace. Some tea dyed paper which is sewn onto this designer paper. A flip out with some um, with some paper there and uh, a little bit of doily and I've done a waxed bag this is like a grocery bag I think it's like a mushroom bag and I've just waxed it it makes it a little bit stronger so that's a waxed bag there tea dyed paper another book page with a muslin ruffle and some blue lace tea dyed paper designer paper and another in the center again with two pages stitched together to form two pockets and I've got these vintage lady images in there and on this side I've got another couple of handmade tags it's a large one and a small one some stamping designer paper Tea dyed paper, another book page with a little bit of fabric trim. Tea dyed paper, this is the other side of the wax bag. And this one's got a couple of little handmade tags in. Tea dyed paper, designer paper again, this is sewn onto a tea dyed paper. It's a nice, a nice crinkle. Book page with some linen and lace. Tea dyed paper, another to do list flip up there on some parchment paper. On this side, it's um, digital paper printed. Uh, I've made a tuck spot here with a couple of vintage ladies' images in there. And then in the back here, I've made another tuck spot with a little bit of lace and doily and a nice image in there. And again, the back, the spine forms a pocket in the back. And I've already had these made as well, some little um, matchbook notebooks. This is one I had available, so I thought that went quite nice in there. 
vintage ladies and that's the back and it just ties with these two pieces so that's going to be my entry for this swap which is um i don't think it's still about the 12th of april but uh get that done in advance because i've got busy busy times coming up so that's my vintage ladies journal for the swap on facebook junk journal junkies so thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.